have one of the best collections of German Expressionist art in the United Kingdom. Our Baselitz exhibition here is based at its heart on two key works from artists' rooms, both large oil paintings, uh, one called Folk Dance Melancholia and one called Where is the Milk Jug, Mrs. Bird? These works come from the 80s uh, and an exhibition um, held at the Anthony Doffe Gallery called uh, Chow America. And it was very much starting to explore Barcelitz's interest, ongoing interest in American abstract expressionism. Barcelitz also talks a lot about a rejection of the drawn image or the, the drawn from life image. And he in fact criticises German Expressionism because he sees it as too much chained to, to reality. And Barcelitz rejects that completely. He draws only from uh, his own kind of vision. They refer to the world, but they are not of the world. There's no question that Barcelitz has a belief in the power of art as in some way um, affective and that comes through in the works downstairs. One of the motifs that Barcelos is particularly well known for is painting images upside down. So in um, Where's the Milk Jug, Mrs. Bird, it's a sequence of a scattering of birds um, on a, a black ground, and within those they are all painted upside down. So it flattens out the idea of a representational image to become something much closer to to pattern. Barcelos describes his process of making as uh, like a battle. One of the really interesting things about Barcelos is that he is associated with this extremely strong kind of identity. It's quite a sort of a very masculine notion of production and painting. And he talks about the way he produces work as being a, a struggle and a, a challenging, difficult process and in lots of ways this is really quite a literal thing for him. It's such a strong part of his identity is as someone who is in some sense a, a, a warrior, in some sense uh, someone doing um, a, at war with society. He talks about the artist being in conflict with social norms a lot. So, so that idea of battle as a metaphor for the production of art is really significant for him. We've worked on a number of uh, digital projects uh, linking into the Artist Rooms programme with support from the Art Fund and the Artist Rooms team, which has been invaluable. We've been asking uh, both our online and in-gallery visitors their own interpretations of uh, George Baslett's work. So we're using particularly different hashtags and using the iPads in the gallery. We've asked uh, various questions to get their own interpretations of, of, of Baslett's. We're looking at developing a number of artist commissions uh, for performance and craft pieces, which will use uh, the responses both in gallery and from social media to develop a, the idea of a script and this script will then feed into directly into the artist commissions uh, we've had a number of uh, responses from national and, and international artists so we've been delighted by the response and it's um, it's going to enable us to have a really exciting program uh, which will run through into the spring uh, giving a, an ex extended lifespan to the artist rooms exhibition what we've got here but what's really exciting, what's really kind of the baseline here is people who wouldn't see Gerhard Richter's work, who wouldn't encounter the photographs of August Sander, who wouldn't come into contact with Barcelitz's work, are able to, and they're able to do it on their own doorstep. And that's an amazing opportunity. Our museum, 80% of our visitors are here to see the dinosaurs downstairs. And that's fabulous. It's really lovely because then they come and they see the dinosaurs and then they move upstairs and they encounter Barcelitz. And I think Artist Rooms at its best provides that opportunity for audiences who would not encounter this kind of work to have an access point to it. It doesn't guarantee their ongoing engagement with art, but it opens the door for them in a really astonishing way.